Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage right now, it's Chris Wright! Yeah. What's up, everybody? How am I supposed to follow that guy? I don't have a fucking song. Hey, did Denny's really have a credit card? That's all I got from that whole fucking song. Hey, listen, before I say anything, three quarters of this room are veterans, you guys. And not just veterans, but I'm talking about combat fucking heroes. Yeah. And to have these guys in my life is humbling, but the level of support that they've given me while I do this comedy is something that I, I could never express in words. So thank you guys. Hey, hey so uh, I recently found out one of my best friends was gay. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's depressing. <laughs> not because he's gay, but because I got no gaydar. <laughs> Other than I kind of don't think I am. <laughs> because I got no gaydar. Sometimes I get shit twisted, right? Like, like this whole time I thought we were just kicking it naked. <laughs> and the way he told me was fucked up too. He says, yeah, I'm gay, but don't worry, I would never fuck you. <laughs> Oh, why am I that fucking ugly? <laughs> he said, no, no, you're not ugly. You're just, you know, I don't know, kind of. <laughs> I said, yeah, that kind of sounds like ugly, dude. <laughs> no, he says, no, you're not ugly. You're just, you know. <laughs> I said, okay, listen, homeboy, why don't you stop saying er and just tell me the truth? He said, all right, you're rough trade, and it's just not my thing. Uh -huh. See, gay people know this shit's legit, because that's a secret gay word. I looked up rough trade, and rough trade basically means a rough looking guy that rich men pay to have sex with in dangerous places like park bathrooms and shit. I was good with ugly. Hey, so now I got beef with the gay community, right? No, I'm an accepting guy. I love everybody. The only people on earth I don't love are terrorists, my ex-wife, and the lady who called the cops on me because I was passed out in the Toys R Us parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody else, man, they're cool. Just be who you are. And for all my love and acceptance, the gay community calls me rough trade. <laughs> well, here's what I got to say to the gay community. You guys are jerks. <laughs> You know, you get to be who you are, and, and, and everybody accepts you, and all these pronouns, and I don't know what a fucking pronoun is. <laughs> and then there's me, little old rough trades. <laughs> yeah, I found out another friend of mine could yodel, piece of shit. <laughs> me and my gay friend were over to his house, kicking it, naked. <laughs> and all of a sudden, homeboy goes, a yodel, yodel, I know, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, dude, we've been kicking it all this time. When the fuck did you learn how to yoga? <laughs> and why would you learn how to yoga? <laughs> so you guys, be, you guys would be surprised if you know how many times doing, uh, I've been late doing stand-up. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> no, but I get offers, though. Like just the, uh, just the other night, a homeless guy asked me to jack off with him in his cardboard box behind Burger King. Yeah, I told him, I'll get in there with you, but it's kind of a tragedy, actually. He said, why is it a tragedy? I said, well, if you're going to jack off in a box, you need to be behind Jack in a Box, dumbass. You need to step up your jack off game. You guys want to hear about my dog? Yes. Oh my god, I got a little shit to at home, right? He's all fucked up. It's my own fault, I went to get a dog for PTSD, and I got a dog that has PTSD. <laughs> I'm his fucking, I'm his emotional support. <laughs> Whatever, I'm a moron, right? You guys, he's got this nervous disorder. Check this out, all he does all day long and all night long is eat his own ass. Just, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't drink water. <laughs> he doesn't sleep. He's fucking exhausted. Well, I took him to the vet to get him checked out. 
vet looked at him and said, no, he's fine physically. This has got to be some neurological problem. My guess is, yes, sir, he has PTSD. <laughs> Look, I don't know what war this dog was in. <laughs> but Jesus Christ, thank you for your service, little fella. <laughs> You guys want to hear my idea? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I love my little dog. And I love to eat ass. <laughs> Is it really that far of a stretch to help that little guy out so he can get some sleep? <laughs> oh, no. oh, come on and eat that big of a stretch. Look at animal tail butt plug. Oh, yeah, you can get all kinds of butt plugs. You can get horses and cats and dogs and even little bunny rabbits if that's what you're into. <laughs> You know what animals I haven't seen though? I haven't seen cows, or sheep, or pigs. You know, animals I might wanna fuck. <laughs> my ex-girlfriend had a labradoodle butt plug. She wanted me to put it on. I said, oh, hell no. My ass is exit only, mostly. <laughs> hey, so I sent my coworker a dick pic. Now he's all fucking weird. <laughs> He sent it to my boss and now she's tripping. She calls me in the office talking about sexual harassment. She holds up the phone. She says, what's this? I said, well, it's my dick, but it doesn't look real good on your iPhone 4. <laughs> Can you go like that or something? <laughs> and you know, there's a double standard when it comes to a sexual harassment in this country. Uh, case in point. If a woman throws her panties up on stage at Bon Jovi, that shit's sexy. Now, if I sling my chonies up on stage at Bon Jovi, that shit's a sex crime. And that sucks, because I like Bon Jovi. Thank you, guys.